We had talked so much about that during the season specifically with educators because like you said, I mean, I don't care what profession you're in. I don't care what you're what you're practicing during this time. It is literally, there are so many things that truly are out of your control. And that's very difficult for people like me who always like to have control. And I feel like teachers love to have control of things, right? Like we love to be able to predict how things are going to go in our classroom. Um, but so, I think during this season, man, so many powerful lessons. Um, but but that has been one of them is, you know, we have these standards, of course, that we have to teach and that's right. our job and we want to educate children, but recognizing that really our purpose lies so far beyond those standards, you know, a feeling students are never going to receive an, a feeling associated with standards. That That's what we get mm. to control as the educator. Mm -hmm. We get to choose that's how right. we deliver that content, how we make them feel when we are educating them. And that's what kids are going to attach to learning exactly what you just said. I love that you pointed out your second grade teacher. Um, kids are going to remember that and they're going to associate what they learned with that feeling. And that's going to help the retention of these skills last even longer than just trying to force standards upon them. Yeah. I mean, sh just showing up. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's more than enough. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was a youth pastor for a decade. I think the first time actually I, I met you guys, I was in that role at New Spring. And one of the things I used to tell volunteers when they're coming in, lots of times insecure, perhaps because they feel like they're a little too old or maybe they're boring or the kids aren't going to think I'm cool. And I used to just say, listen, you just mentioned the word show up. A kid will respond to consistency. There's so much that is inconsistent mm. in the world that if you will just be consistent, you will absolutely endear a child a student a young person to you because you're you're showing up and trust is developed day after day and uh, it might not feel that way at first but you lay that down a couple of weeks a couple of months a couple of years in a row and you are rare one of the statements that we love to lean into and that i, I literally leave my kids at the car rider line as they go into their elementary school i say every single day i try to say hey You've got to be different if you're going to make a difference wow. and showing up is being different. Being consistent in our world of inconsistency is being different. And when you're different, you make a difference.